Well, they finally decided after four cycles, four of the 21-day cycles of, of chemo, um, that he's in partial remission, which is just exactly where we want to be. They and can't it's call phenomenal. It, they can't call it a total remission. Nope. Um, but they've cleared out enough of the cancer because it was in the bones, in the bone marrow. Um, his bone marrow is now starting to work again. So they, they said it was partial remission, but... Which they were thrilled with. Yeah. Absolutely freaking thrilled. thrilled with. You know, and they're as were is, As were we. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's one of those... It, I enjoyed mostly because of the doc and the PA that had been busting their tail ends to, to get me to that point and to see them have a successful patient, you know, doing something, that thrilled the hell out of me. See, that's I mean, amazing because even though it's their job, you, you must have felt like they, 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 they were, was it cool like that they were excited? It doesn't they feel like it. doesn't they're, act like it's their job. Yeah. That's, or if it is, that's a, a strong, they really enjoy their job. Yes. But his, his PA, Michelle, it just beams. Beams. And she, she walks in there and she sees that the, 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 um, his blood count is coming up and she beams. She is so, she is so involved with her patients. Um, mm-hmm. She really, like I said, she, just, she walks in and she glows because oh, you're doing so well and this has gotten better and look at this has gotten better and yes there's a problem here or maybe you need to do that we need we need to correct this mm-hmm. you know we need to do this chelsea uses this person very well the spouse yeah because there was one time i went in and she said well you know you need a, a blood transfusion and then she turned and looked at patty and go well, do you think that ought to be today or tomorrow not john not you <laughs> want a transfusion it's which day are we going to... And so she makes the decision, well, we're going to do it so-and-so. And the people, I mean, every every person who works there says hello. Good morning. Hi. Hello. As you're walking down the hall. Every and it might be me going to get a snack. Everybody. And they smile. People don't even do that out on the sidewalk in front of your house. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I mean, just, up I, there, people care. It's, it's it, just... It's, it's, it's an honest to God world, and I've told that uh, I don't know how many people no. so far because I want them to know there is light at the end of the tunnel. You know, it just, go, it just go there. It the entire place from the clinics to the hospital on the floors, even the cafeteria food is good. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I was I was all over that hospital. I was there for twelve days. You walk in the door, the the reception, the front desk. They say hello. The volunteers say hello. The volunteers. Some of those volunteers are older than I am, and they're helping with the wheelchair. They are so happy. I don't know. Is there is there something in the air? I don't happy, know what happy you guess. do. Happy guess. It, it's just a completely different atmosphere. And all I can say is that the professionals that we have seen are professional. That's the highest praise I can give them. And again, I feel like it's health care, not health care. And they get it. And I don't they know what it. your system is, and I don't know how you do it, but you do it, and you do it really, really well. And they all get it. Too far in that I had one night, came in, sat down, she was didn't have a lot to do and she just looked and she said so how are you doing it's like 10 o'clock at night she's on a 12-hour shift and we started chatting she drove to the hospital from downtown chicago for that job she lived in an apartment near wrigley and drove to aurora because she loved working there and it was just amazing absolutely amazing to me and and i said why she said I enjoy it. I don't mind coming here. And she said, and I don't know if I'm going to go find another place like this. And I said, I don't think you will, not right now anyway. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't like the duties were delegated. It was like everyone was able to do everything that they needed to do. And, and, and no one hesitated. There were some interesting times where there was a um, one of the RNs obviously had 
um, she'd been a CNA and she said I've worked my way up I've been a CNA I've gone all the way through she has her bachelor's uh, her BSN and there were some um, there were some of the hucks that were there and she was showing them okay this is how you change this this is how you help this person get up this is how you help this person move and it was a little tutorial for them they were incredibly interested. Oh, you do this and you do that. We watched them. Okay, that's mentoring. You watched them. I suffered through it. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I really I, you know, she knew what to do and how to help the patient. And I didn't mind her using it as a the teaching tool. It didn't bother me in the least. No, I, I thought it was important. I yes. thought I thought the mentoring that the staff between the members of the staff was important. Thank you guys for doing this today. It's easy to do. Yeah. And it, you know, and, and like you said, we have been doing this. The whole and we're not going to stop because of the tape recording either. <laughs> well, it's going to keep going. But you know, uh, even when he was in the hospital, we get phone call after phone call after phone call. Um, people wanting to know what's going on, what are they doing, what's happening. And they ask, "Why are you there? Yeah, why did you go? To, why did you go to why Wisconsin? Why did you go up there? Why? Yeah. What? And so that's the foot in the door." To say, you got to try this, you know, because they're always going, what? And it's their question, you know, why did you go there? Everyone asks, why do you go there? First of all, it's convenient. Yeah. It's certainly far more convenient than going to downtown Chicago. We were all frustrated with your health care. Yeah. We I all was, I was frustrated too. with mm -hmm. your health care. I was too. For a while.